sure some higher power is laughing about that one. Let's have the first woman in the family be a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> they let them think they have a daughter first. Tabloid headline. First woman in the family isn't. <laughs> What's an illegal anyway? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Or would it? I suspect that rose would start feeling mighty queer if it realized it couldn't call itself rose anymore. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, and I feel like I should because we've already shared so much this evening, um, I actually don't know what my family thinks of my testosterone. I told my mother about it on one of our rare and stilted phone calls and <coughs> left the matter in her hands. We haven't talked about it since. I tell myself I don't care. I tell myself I've found a uh, new family, a, uh, a better family, a more open family, a, a family that can talk about sex. Do you like to talk about sex? <laughs> yes. Woo! I do. Somehow it's the most talked about, least talked about subject. And as much as we're all so sure about sex being different from gender, being different from sexuality, it all gets tangled up. Who doesn't think of gender when they're fucking? Okay, well, the first time I used a strap-on, that set my gender gears worrying. I was 18 at the time, and my boyfriend, Brayden, <laughs> had been taking testosterone for a couple of months. I hadn't started yet, but I was thinking about it. So for Brayden's birthday, I decided to get him something he had been lusting after. A strap-on from the local sex shop. Eight inches long, a soda can in girth. <laughs> Baby and pink. <laughs> I never said the boy was realistic. Anyway, I hand him the package, carefully wrapped in newspaper. He opens it. <laughs> His eyes stare down at the box, the platinum blonde with the plastic breasts and the purple cock smiling up at his expressionless face. Uh -huh.